What's going on guys? This is uh another video for you guys coming at you guys with uh Kelbrook versus uh Triple G my thoughts uh fight review. And uh I thought it was a pretty good fight. Was it uh Triple G's best performance? No it was not. But um I actually liked the way he was fighting. I mean um he could have made it way easier on himself. But um like he said, you know, uh he wanted to please the crowd and uh do a street fight. And uh I was actually very surprised by the first round. Um, not that uh, Triple G uh, hurt Kellbrook. Uh, I wasn't surprised about that. But actually the um, bruises that Kellbrook uh, was able to give Triple G. But you know. Um, in my opinion I think. Uh, I would have let. I would have let the fight continue. But you know his trainer uh, for whatever reason decided uh to throw the towel in um in my opinion i would have let uh the fight continue and uh Kilbrook himself said that uh he would have uh, preferred to get knocked out but you know he's a trainer you know he's been with them for a long time so uh that kind of just tells you you know that he cares about him his fighter But it was a pretty exciting fight. As you guys know, it only uh, went up to round number five uh, before the towel got uh, thrown in. And, you know, Gennady did his thing. So did uh, Special K. You know, he was in there. He had uh, his moments in the fight. But Kelber, uh, it was just a matter of time before uh, Gennady, uh, you know, was... I. I pretty much think that if it would have continued, it wouldn't have lasted uh, much longer, especially with the pressure that uh, Gennady was um, giving Kilbrook. At tops, maybe like up to the seventh round, um, I would have given it the opportunity. But you know, I was a little surprised with uh, Kilbrook. Who has uh, one of the best jabs and uh, the way he was just uh, connecting those uh, uppercuts. Um, and he also said that um, he would not be returning to 147. So I guess that leaves his uh, belt vacant. And uh, as you guys know the mandatory right now is uh, Errol Spence Jr. Which personally I would have loved to see that fight. And uh, personally I think uh, Kel would have uh, given Spence um trouble and personally i think that's a 50 50 fight in my opinion i know there's probably gonna be hate in the comments but that's just my opinion but most definitely i would have loved to seen that fight but he said you know he's gonna be uh moving or well, for this fight partic particularly because it was at 160 but uh his uh he's a welterweight so he's gonna be going to the uh 154 and you know I there's there's big names for him out there too. Um I just wish we would have seen that uh uh I want honestly I would have liked to see any unification, any champion, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, or even Jesse Vargas, uh, you know, they were in negotiations before this fight. And as far as uh Triple G, you know, he said he wants Saunders next because he has the WBO and that's the only belt that he's missing. But yeah, it's going to be those two. I mean, if um, Kelbrook could get a name at 154, that'd be dope. And if um, Triple G could get uh, Sounders, that would also be dope. And uh, yeah, go ahead and stay tuned. Comment on this video, like the video, and subscribe. Watch all my other videos. Uh, watch the Sotokaras and uh, Quadras video. Peace.